Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this week, this shortened week, uh, produced one question that I received this morning, and it has to do with the cold and whether or not we were going to do anything uh, Friday or Thursday or both as far as um, making adjustments to the daily schedule as a result of the cold. And um, I'm afraid I don't have a good answer for you other than to say we're monitoring it as we always do. Um, but there's some, some things, it, the, the individual that asked the question, I, I think was under the assumption that we have some cut and dry uh, benchmark to adhere to when cold weather comes. And we really don't, because and the, part of the reason is because there's so many factors that go into doing a delay or a closing because of cold weather. And they include things like, is is the temperature going to be so cold that we aren't able to heat our buildings? And something that factors into that decision has to do with, is the sun going to be out? Because believe it or not, if it's 15 degrees and overcast versus is it 15 degrees and sunny, you're in a much worse spot if it's overcast, um, believe it or not. And um, there are other pieces. For example, if it's going to be extremely cold on a Monday, uh, that always creates problems because you end up with buses that won't start. So if you have time to prepare for that, um, that really makes a difference. Or if it's going to be so cold that you anticipate that buses won't start, then it, in some instances it makes sense to have a delay. And then, of course, what the thing that trumps everything is, you know, is student safety. And granted, it's, you know, anytime it's really cold, 32 or, you know, below uh, 32 degrees or 20 degrees or 15 degrees, there's always, honestly, a, a level of danger for kids who are waiting at bus stops, um, especially if they're not clothed properly. So that's something else that's factored in is if it's going to be extremely cold, and the sun's not going to be out, and you anticipate that some buses may not start, because um, even if you start on the, the day before, it may be we've had that situation where the next day they don't. So there, there's just a lot to factor in. It's not just as simple as it gets a certain temperature and we close or we, we have a delay. It just it doesn't work that way. It's much more complicated than that. In fact, right now, our, our new... Um, admin planning guy Dave Graham he's you know right now in talks with transportation and, and maintenance about you know buses and what's the plan to make sure buses start and in, in preparation for the temperature surge on Friday and then with maintenance as far as you know at, at what point do we need to be looking at um, other alternatives if we can't heat the buildings at a level that we're, we're comfortable with so, you know, all of those things are factored in, and it's not just as simple as we do this in this situation and that in that situation. We look at a lot of different things. So I don't know how helpful this is to you, but I just want to reassure you that, you know, even days out, we're looking at all the different scenarios and the factors that could contribute, for example, to a late opening or no opening or an on-time opening. So... I hope this has been helpful to you, and I, and I hope everyone has a great uh, 2018. Thanks very much.